Hey guys, it's Alien Pajamas, and it's his friend. And we're gonna do Pocket Mirror. <clears throat> also, it's my birthday. No, it's not. It's only July. I'm probably, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm gonna plan on uploading this on like, on my birthday, just because. All right, so I don't know where I'm going. Where do I go? Um, well, you're supposed to go into the library. Right? You were, you ended, like, coming out of the library. Right? <coughs> yeah. Got it. So I read the journal. And I read that letter. And that had nothing. They're all written in Braille. Are they now? Okay. In that case, we'll go up these stairs. There's a musical score scattered here. Joseph Haydn. Haydn? Haydn. I forgot my musical stuff. Symphony number 26 in D minor. Lamentation. Lamentation. I don't know what quite happened. I think there was a book that fell. What is this? Why well, everyone looks sad. Oh, I'm so sad. Ah, why am I in that photograph? So that's you. <laughs> What's going on? Am I, the, am I running out of time? I can't even move. Oh, I can move. School of Manners, or Rules for Children's Behavior. It's a really big Bible. Oedipus Rex by Sophocles. There's a note sticking out from between the books. I mustn't disappoint father, mustn't trouble brother. Such a messy handwriting. is a bit faded. Claviculus Salamanus Regis. This is Latin, isn't it? Uh, nope, I don't know. Looks like a diary entry. Oh, cool. I found a diary. Tonight I have encountered the same scenario yet again. Invading my dreams, the mysterious shadow taunts me to follow it along a never-ending staircase. Tonight, too, I stood silently resisting the shadow's sweet promises of salvation and freedom. Before tomorrow's dawning light, I shall no longer be here. This is awful. Old phonograph rest on the table covered with dust and cobwebs. Oh. Huh? What's this? Pumpkin tree. Nope. Okay. Old wax record. Anything up there? Oh, thanks. So. Yeah, so apparently the wax. Uh, cylinders or whatever it was called. Yeah. Um, not really necessary apparently. Oh. But uh, it helps understanding the hidden plot of the game. Oh, okay. So it's better to find them. Yeah. Gotcha. Right, but rest and mold. Okay. So dark over here. Hawk's hand hanging down loosely, weakened by a passage of time. Awesome. awesome. What do you use these for? I don't know. That's a, that's still the mystery that we're trying to figure out here. I think we looked at that. We did. Oh. Oh. Oh, it looks like I'm done here. Yeah, I think it looks like you're done. You wanna save? Sure. Just for the fun of it? Yeah, just for the fun of it. It's too dark. Good point. Gonna take one of these candles. 
I'm not looking at the painting. Is there a candle at all? Oh. Someone there? Yes. Please, I need your help. I've been hearing strange voices outside. I have to go check on my father. I need you to get the key to this room for me. Alright. Where is it? Solve this riddle and you'll find it. Cool. Listen closely because I won't be repeating myself. Lurking in the shadows, lost in dismay. Golden radiance lies on scape, waiting, awaiting the light of day. Is that it? At dawn shall the beasts awake. Guided by the northern star, you must advance. Drawn by cheering chirping, hope always follows. In search of guidance, turn to a heart full of gallows. Announced by the bells in your demise, she do not pray for eastern sunrise. The door opens as she draws near. Silence is your ally, clouded with fear. Wait, I don't understand. You have to hurry. Now go. Yeah. <laughs> I think it just meant go up. Yeah. Congratulations. I have no idea what happened. Oh, maybe it's like, uh, you have to go in a certain direction when you hear those voices. Mm. Yes. Golden radiance lies on skin, waiting the light of day. Shall the beast of the week, guided by the another star, you must advance. So that goes north, right? Yeah. Drawn by cheerful chirping. Hope always fall. Turn for the heart of the cannons. Announced by the bells is your demise. Should you not, should you not pray for Eastern sunrise? Door opens as she draws near. Silence is your ally. Cloud of fear. So that was the sound of the beast, right? Yeah. Was it east after that? I think so. So I wasn't really reading. <laughs> so left. Yeah, it's left. Okay. Are you sure you got like the rest of the directions too? You don't make it. As a beast, so it's up, right? Yeah. Then wait, go east, right? Oh no. Yeah, so that's door, so we don't move. Okay. Yeah. Up. So something under the rug. This is it. <laughs> All right. So go back. I think we're fine now. That was pretty intense. Yeah. <laughs> I got your key. Great, now open the door. What if you die? Oh my god. Oh yeah, so I think he's going to that room, right? <laughs> trying to get the candle. Yeah. These candles are useless. Where the, um, what was it? Uh, Harpy? Where is Harpy right now? I don't know. 
I'm dying. I think you took something that you didn't suppose to. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's her. Yeah. She turned into a demon. What is this? I don't want to go in there. She's probably dual, dual personality. So blue. I'm gonna save. Right. I don't know, I feel like I destroyed the audio. <laughs> <laughs> suffer from this? I, should, I will be sure to take care of that issue soon. Now hush, my dear, let us not worry about the future. It's an unpleasant conversation. And I uh, underlying desire. If any avoids, I need to escape a horned demon. Ooh. Ugh, excuse me. The memorize of a young lady. 1547. A young, elegant woman poses peacefully with a serene expression on her face. Is this a riddle? I don't think so. I don't think so How do you make a puzzle out of like something that's random? <laughs> Nothing is ever random in this game. What is that? Nothing. It's locked. Do I have an item? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, nothing over here. dare you disobey me? What if I told you about leaving the room during the night? I'm sorry, father. Oh my. This is the last time you will ever disobey me. Now get in your room and do not dare come out until I tell you to. Do you understand? Yes. Left. 
Bro? Where have you been? Harpy, I, I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm sorry. I just, I heard a strange noise while you were gone. A strange noise. Yes. You didn't hear it? No, I haven't heard it. More importantly, are you all right, miss? Did you get hurt somewhere? <laughs> oh, no. I'm all right. That's a relief. However, you shouldn't go around by yourself. Do you understand? I... No buts, miss. This mansion can be very dangerous as it is very old. You can get hurt if you wander around carelessly. Sorry, Harpy. <laughs> it's all right, miss. I'm just glad you're safe and sound. I'm sorry, Harpy. I was just worried about you. Worried about me? Because that sound was so loud. And since you're... I'm... Oh, no, it's nothing. I just thought you could have gotten hurt. <laughs> There's no need to worry about me, miss. But thank you. Come now. Let us get inside at once. I'm sure you're feeling tired. <laughs> yes, let's. Give me your hands, just so you don't get lost. All right. I'm holding hands. We're lovers now. Awesome. Harpy, I can't... Harpy. Yes. Why is it so dark in here? Oh, I'm sorry, miss. There are no lights in this corridor, and it's gotten pretty dark. I know the way. There's nothing to worry about. That's amazing. I see. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna get mugged. We're here, miss. Oh. Oh, my. Are you feeling all right, miss? My head hurts. You must be tired. <laughs> ah, yeah. It'll pass, don't worry, Harpy. Please tell me if it doesn't. I can make you some tea. Thank you, Harpy. Come, let's sit. <laughs> it's best if we talk while sitting down. Where were you all this time, miss? Uh... Uh... Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, you're a nice person. I'll tell you the truth. I went to the floor above the one we were in. You know, I seemed to come from above, so you shouldn't have gone there, miss. I... No, it's all right. I'm not upset, but I was just worried about you. You don't need to make such an expression, miss. I'm sorry, Harpy. Oh, I'm sorry for taking so long to come back. Anyway, where are we? Oh, this is a simple reception room. Ah, I see. I'm so glad you're safe, my girl. Even so, you do look a bit... bewildered. I... Just let's ask you something. Please go ahead. Are you the only person in this house? What do you mean? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to scare you, but I heard some voices downstairs. Voices? Yes. I'm sorry, miss, but there isn't anyone else other than the two of us in this mansion. Are you sure? Yes. It must have been your imagination, I'm sure. You must be right. <laughs> I've been drugged. You must be very tired, my girl. Perhaps you should take a rest. I have a few guest rooms, and if I propose, you could. Oh no. What's the matter? There's a button missing on your cardigan. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't notice it was missing. I'm so sorry, my girl. I mustn't have sewed it properly. Oh, I'm sorry. I was the one who lost it. I'm going to get a new button upstairs. Would you like to come with me? Yeah. Why not? Now let's go there. Get off the chair. All right. Okay. Where'd she go? <laughs> yeah. Where'd she go? It's almost time for my nap! I can't wait! Why not just take a nap right now? Oh, no, 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 no! I'm being asleep as I'm being perfect when my leaves will fall off. You really have no common sense now, do you? I guess not. I'll count- I'll start to count down. One. And a two. And a three! <laughs> my days of being a comedian are long gone. I have not dedicated myself to the art of meditation. Oh, so you're that pumpkin that was back there? I don't think so. Oh, really? Uh, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I'm so good at this. If there was a game dedicated to just finding pumpkin charms, I'd be like a master. <laughs> Look at this. Pumpkin Charm Master. Oh, hey, look at that one. Why, hello there, miss. Long time no see. Get it? Nah, nah, pumpkin. You should know better than to act like a proper pumpkin. Just kidding. What? Ah! I, I don't understand. I don't know either. Alright. Let's see here. 
art. Various utensils land the work table, seemingly ready to be used. Pumpkin charm? This canvas is blank. Pumpkin charm. Bottle of wine rests on the cloth table, accompanied by a grape and some stuff. Oh my god. You're so good at finding these. Oh man. Unused canvas. See, you can't just leave me wandering around like this, you know? She's the one that- I'm in a maze. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's the one that said, like, shit. I wander around alone. Yeah. Right. And here we are. I love a pumpkin. Wow, you have 40 charms. Good for you. Problems with the heart. Pro pros to the mind. I have 40 pumpkin charms. Hey there, little girl. Would you write an interest in a quiz? Get everything right, and I'm going to give you a award. Is it a pumpkin charm? So I'm going to have to do it. Just a subject. Oh no. <laughs> I think you're better at. What is the solution to this equation? 2x plus 4 equals 10. Uh. <laughs> 3. Congratulations, choose your reward. Awesome. Oh yeah. I do math. Quite smart, aren't you? Amazing. Mom and sister have been crossed out. Alright, look at that. Alright. I think this is a portal of some sort. Can't read it. Mm. Cool. Do you, if you go up, do you go back into it? Probably. <laughs> yeah, we go back here. I want to investigate. Pale doll sits on display with serene expression. This doll looks familiar somehow. It's probably yes. I should go with Harpy. Well, <laughs> where did she go? I don't know. Hey, look at this. It's like this thing on the table. It looks. I can't go through. Run <laughs> down. Where is she? <laughs> Where did she go? Awesome. Yo. <laughs> I'm professional. Oh. Oh. I'm running after you. Why are you in this? Hey. My, 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 my transformation as a vampire is coming. Rawr. Do vampires go rawr? No. Oh. I doubt it. They go like, Thy will fuck your blood. Fuck. Corner <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, my girl. It seems I've gotten a bit ahead of you. <laughs> oh no, that's all right. I was just wondering where you'd gone to. <laughs> I see. It wasn't my intention to worry you. Harpy, where are we? Tell me, miss. What is it? Musical chairs again? Do you want to play a Pokemon battle? <laughs> <laughs> no. I see. Here, take a seat. Who? Oh. Harpy. Yes. Is this a dress or so, um, something I should recognize? Not necessarily. I should have come out of curiosity, nothing else. But if you ask me that, then... Miss... <laughs> yeah? It is fine if you don't want me to, but... May I brush your hair? My hair, yes. It's, it's something I have wanted to do for a long time. <laughs> no, of course you can. I don't even have a choice. Thank you, my girl. I'm deeply grateful. Well then, could you please pass me the hairbrush? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's, a, that's an item I need. Yeah, you need that. This comb is so fancy, Harpy. Is it really yours? <laughs> yes, it is. It was once given to me as a present from my family. I see. This might sound funny to you, but I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Perhaps your memories may be coming back. 
Harpy. Yes, what is it, my girl? Could you please tell me a bit more about myself? I can tell you about what I know. Unfortunately, it isn't much, but I hope it will satisfy you. Anything will do. I mean, sorry. <laughs> please, don't apologize. I understand your need to know, my girl. But could you please hand me the comb first? Ah! I'm sorry, Harpy. Don't worry, miss. No, please, sit up straight and place your hands on your lap. Okay. Just like that. We don't want your beautiful long hair to get tangled now, do we? Thank you, Harvey, for combing my hair. There's no need to thank me, my girl. And I was the one who asked you if you could do it in the first place anyway. Oh. You're a very sweet individual, miss. Although, you may have a few difficulties regarding some circumstances. What do you mean? You need to have more faith in yourself. You've come this far thanks to your own effort, so it is time to start believing in your capabilities. I guess you're right. You may not think of yourself as much, but you are truly are a very diligent person. No one but you knows what hurdles you have passed past in your journey, as well as your goals, your fears, and even your own strength. Harpy, it is time you start pulling yourself together, my girl. No more hesitating. No more doubts. More mirrors. You must carry out your duty, regardless of the means, regardless of the consequences. Harpy, enough running away. It is easy to lose yourself in your path, and even I, <laughs> you and I am nothing more than a cruel misunderstanding. Harpy, but you are different. You are more than your mistakes. You are more than your fears. <laughs> you are a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> you are more than your duties. It is time to let go, my dear. You must give in. And you must lose control and never mind your fears. I will be with you and I will protect you. Harpy, what's going on? Uh. <laughs> you are safe with me. <laughs> Red text. No! So, you were already on the bad end route since uh, when you chose to go with her. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. We're here. And it's bright again. Focus your ears on my voice. My soothing voice. <laughs> you think you'd just <laughs> skip this all? Yeah. Oh, this doesn't matter, but the next one matters. Right. Are the only person in this house? What do you mean? I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, but I heard some voices downstairs. This much. Yeah. Sorry, miss, but there isn't anyone else other than the two of us in this mansion. Are you sure? Yes. It's in your imagination, I'm sure. You must be. <laughs> Where should I rest? I have a few guests rooms. Don't worry, you can. Oh, no. I'm not looking at me. My footsteps don't match. What's the matter? So, there's a button missing in your card again. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hadn't noticed it and it was missing. <laughs> I'm sorry, my girl. I must have said it properly. No, I'm sorry. I was the one who lost the it. My voice is getting higher. <laughs> I'm going to get a new button upstairs. Would you like to come with me? No. <laughs> Can we play a little tiger? Can you rest a little longer? This is all right. I don't mind. I won't take too long. I'll be sure to get a good rest. Thank you, Harvey. I'll also get my hairbrush and brush it to death. And then you just run off. <laughs> she just doesn't say anything and just runs off. <laughs> I've seen this happen. Was that safe point there? No. Nope. Before it wasn't. Awesome. I think they deleted it so that you don't yeah, like save, save it. Like, yeah. That makes sense. Good on them. I'm gonna show you my file form. Yep, it's file form. Yeah, let's take all the pumpkin charges that you f you got that you dropped. Oh uh, yeah. So where would I go then? Um. So you know how when you were going down, I was down the stairs. Yeah. Um. Like there was like doors with like numbers on on top of them. 
I don't think you were looking. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> I'll still focus on the story. Wait, what'd you... <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, do you want to save after getting all those pumpkin charms? Well then. Ah! Wait, was it down? It to go to this? It, it was down. Well, like, when we took it. Now, here. Hmm. Was there anything we had to read? Don't think so. So there's this, and there's this. Go to ah oh, reception room again. Oh, hey, what, look, up there, one of them's like red and the other one's like black. Oh. What? Wait, there was a, that was a door? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't go the last time because I had to follow on Harpy. I'm not even doing Oh, hey, look, I'm not a vampire anymore. You finally come to me. Oh. I had a feeling there was like two people. <laughs> who who are you? I am you. <coughs> I've been waiting for you, Angela. Oh, so you're not Alice? Oh man. What do you mean? I wasn't expecting you to forget about me this quickly. Is my name Angel? I thought it was Alice. Yes, it is. Alice. But then, who are you? I am you. Angela. It's a shame you can't remember. <laughs> you see, we have a special <laughs> <laughs> you see, we have a special connection, like petals of the same flower, or so the same, or apples from the same flower. Daughter of the same mother, you are me, Angel, and I am you. Oh, it was my role to find you, and now that I did, it's your role to complete me. You don't have much time, but please listen to me. What are you talking about? It's time for us to be reunited, Angel. You've always tried to tear us apart, but now I've finally found you. Wait. Miss, where are you? You have come to me. I am waiting for you on the other side of the mirror. Wait, you are not alone, Angel. I will stay with you from now on. Every time you need me, just knock three times on the mirror and I'll come to you. Wait, Angel, please, you have to trust me. And please, promise me you'll be careful. He's still out there looking for me. Wait, who are you talking about? I will be waiting for you. Also, I'm talking about my father, but Angel, goodbye. She's totally on the dark side. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, um, I was wrong about like being still being able to go to the dead end. Oh. Um, yeah, clearly. <laughs> Where have you been? In Harpy. the picture. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Right. Let's just go into this room. <laughs> it's gone. Even I told you not to wander out yourself. You could have gotten hurt. Harpy. There's no helping it, is there? I'm sorry I yelled at you, miss. Harpy, is everything alright? Was there always a big pain in this room? A painting? No, there isn't. What's the matter, miss? You don't seem too well. I... I mean, who, who's hallucinating? Yeah, right. <laughs> is she hallucinating? Yes, what is it? Harpy, is my name Angel? I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> I just... You saw... You just what? What did you do? Who told you that? Harpy, I just... I don't want to hear any more excuses from you. Listen, my girl, you're grounded. Lies won't take you anywhere in this place. Enough is enough, and it's time you face the consequences of your own acts. Playing house will not make you anything better. Hiding won't make you invisible, miss. I am your mother. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I gotta be carried away. I apologize. Harpy, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. Flood is gone, and now I met the strange girl, and then... Who did you meet? She said my name was Angel, and that she's, she was me. Your name is not Angel, miss. <laughs> I like her name just my fades name is, out. Right, yeah, my name's gone. <laughs> no, it is not. But she... That is enough. 
You mustn't meet this girl ever again. You mustn't try. Tr you mustn't trust her, no matter what she says. But why? Why? Listen to this. I need you to listen carefully. As I told you before, I can't tell you your name. I can't tell you who you are or what you should do from now on. However, I can protect you from whoever is trying to hurt you. Like yourself? Was Flynn trying to hurt me? No. I don't know. This. <laughs> probably not. No, probably not. All I know is that you mustn't trust anyone but yourself. Do you understand? No. <laughs> I don't understand the situation at all. I see. Or shall I leave you alone on your own then? What? I'm asking you if you're going to walk away from the situation. You don't understand. Why are you here, miss? What have you come here to do? Good question. I don't know. Did she come to, like, s figure out who she is? Like, after Flutta? Well, we, we, we just... Wasn't that her purpose? <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. What does that tell us, then? Did you want to know who you are? What is your name is and what you're supposed to do? Are you just going to give all that up? Harpy, I refuse to protect someone who is a will no, who is no will to thrive, miss. That is no longer my role. I... My hands are getting sweaty. I'm sorry, miss. I don't need your apologies. No! I'm sorry. I mean, I, I don't understand what you're saying. I, I don't know who I am and what I'm doing here. Please forgive me. I ended up pressuring you when it wasn't my intention. No, you're alright. I can't simply give up. I'm glad you understand. I need you to trust me. And I need you to stay true to yourself. There's the only way you'll ever find the answers to your questions. This is what I've been trying to tell you. I'm sorry. I went overboard. No, it's all right. I don't think you're trying to hurt me, Harpy. Oh, thank you, miss. Thank you for trusting me. Harpy? <laughs> oh, no, it's nothing. I'm just feeling a bit overjoyed, that's all. But anyway, I got the problem. I got the button we needed to fix your code. <laughs> thank you, Harpy. You're welcome, my girl. <laughs> it's done. Thank you, Harpy. You're fast. You're welcome, miss. Well, then, let's go. Oh <laughs> where? I need you to take. I need to take you to a safe place. We can't sit here forever, now, can we? Oh, I see. Let us hurry to my dungeon where I can brush your hair to death. I uh, how she says like don't trust anyone, and she's like trust me. Yeah. <laughs> Is something the matter? No, I. So I was just. Come now, my girl. You mustn't tell. I'm sorry. All right, the pumpkin charms. Just a hunch. I'm gonna go through doors though. You can't stop me! Oh, that's safe point. <laughs> okay! We should probably save. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna save on file five. I feel like I'm gonna be chased now. I'm not really sure. My first flower. Oh. I never liked these hunting trophies. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh my. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I like you now. Don't hurt me, please. Can I take this giant candle? Wait, is this the floor you were on before? Is it like. We're definitely gonna lose track while doing this. 